Hi, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store, and I'm pretty sure by now, if you're following the ukulele news of the last few months, you'll have seen or you'll know that Carla have released the Contour Series ukuleles. I think the first time they had a public showing was at Grand Northern Ukulele Festival last summer, but it's taken time for production to catch up. And now, lo and behold, everywhere I look, or everywhere I seem to follow my ukulele news i'm seeing people talk about the contour series ukuleles it's a good step forward for carla having been one of the first brands to really establish themselves as making a wide range of good ukuleles with solid woods and interesting woods and different styles about 11 12 years ago i think during that kind of 2019 to 2020 covid period where the kind of world stopped Carla almost stopped with it for a while. Um, it's something I'd noticed is that brands like Flight and Enu are coming along with something new every few months and Carla were sticking to their guns but with the 35mm nut width in particular, the narrower nut width, they were losing some ground among players looking to buy that next uke, you know, that uke that's going to carry them forward from being a beginner to an intermediate or perhaps somebody who's playing every week and really getting the most out of the ukulele. And the Contour series is a great step forward because it follows that more Hawaiian style ukulele, you know, slightly chunkier, curvier tenor and baritone ukulele style. They have thicker necks with wider nuts, which means a wider string spacing. It's more comfortable for a finger picker. The kind of thing that you do when you, you move up a few steps of the ladder and you're learning, you start to really want more response and more sensitivity from your ukulele. And that's what the Contour series does does really really well. At launch the console series comes in three flavors. You have a sun, an all solid mahogany model, an all solid acacia model and a spruce and rosewood solid model with a Florentine style cutaway. We're going to look at the three of them today and we're going to hear the tenors and the baritones. First up, today we're going to look at the Contour Series Mahogany Ukuleles. This is the CT SMH TG, and they do a CT SMH BG, a mahogany baritone you'll hear in a moment. But let's run the spec. It's all solid mahogany, so the top, back, and sides. It has a, an ebony um, contour, so a beveled edge to the side, so you get maximum comfort when you lean over as a right-handed player. You have this split rosette, which is a mixture of, I believe it's maple and rosewood. Indian rosewood. You have an ebony fingerboard going up to a slotted headstock. Carla's traditional star slotted headstock. With some black open gear tuners. And key, the key things to note, this has a 38mm nut width and stylistically this is um, a very very good uh, copy of what Carla did in their USA custom shop for many years. So you have these slightly oval fret markers, the, the actual feel of the neck is very, very different. It's a much improved neck, in my opinion, on what you get from Carla at the lower price points, which has always been a criticism of Carla that people have had, is that sometimes the the cheaper ukuleles, like the cheaper laminate ukuleles, feel very, very similar to the ukuleles that are two, three times the price. And although the tone woods improve and the sound improves, the actual feel isn't different. That's not the case here. This is the first ukulele Carla have produced and I've had in my hands that really gives um, what flight are making at 500 pound, kind of a run for its money. Um, it's, it does come without a pickup. So the, if you were to compare the Carla and the flight directly, you might like the fact that the flight's Tend to have the scoop cutaway and the pickup and um, they've also got a lighter weight uh, headstock i know you're thinking why we're talking about flight and carla that that's the thing most people are comparing it's the people that are looking currently at the flight fireballs and the comets that are interested in what this is and whether this is a viable alternative it definitely feels more like a conventional ukulele than a flight i think the slotted headstock does that it balances differently it's got a bit more poise to it the flights are quite lightweight and um, very open sounding. This is a tiny bit stiffer, but that's kind of more of that traditional ukulele sound. It's a bit snappier. I think that's all down to the headstock actually. You have a mahogany neck, front and back uh, ebony binding with a through bridge, which is also ebony. 
Uh, we're going to give the mahogany tenor and baritones a play for you now and see what you think. My first observation of the baritones are that the Aquila strings are not the best suited thing for it. So those that think that I'm only ever going to say something's amazing, my advice to you if you get one of these from us is to pay another £15 and get us to put like Ukes of Alex or Daddario baritone strings on it. Just give it a bit more tension. I think it'll be a, a, a massive improvement to the overall tension. Feel wise, it's amazing, but the strings are, you know, they're, they're like on a tightrope, it's like a loose tightrope. Next up today we're going to move on to Acacia, this is the CTSATG Contour Series Solid Acacia Tenor Gloss. You know, the, the colour codes, even when you have a good product name like the Contour Series, you have to go and give it a really long code. It's, it's, it's poor marketing is what it is, it's poor marketing because I want to get excited about this. I want to call this one something like, I don't know, call this one like the Soul, I don't know, like the Carla Soul Tenor. You know, you know what I mean? Just something that gives it a bit more of a name because these have got loads of personality and sorry, I'm off on a tangent now. That's what happens when you come in and film too early and you haven't had coffee or too much coffee. Right, the Solid Acacia Tenor here is the same spec as the Mahogany Muke we've looked at before. A really nice figured Asian Acacia with the uh, same rosette, the same bindings. You have that comfort edge. 38 mil nut width with the slotted headstock and the uh, black open gear tuners. The bodies on all of these ukuleles are gloss. The finish on the necks is satin, so it feels lived in from new, which is the best you can hope for. Something that looks new, feels comfortable, perfect. And it's a modern innovation that I love seeing on guitars, mandolins, ukuleles. It's something that people are really getting right right now compared to five, six years ago. The Acacia ukulele will give you a slightly sweeter, more harp-like sound than the mahogany model we looked at before. It's, um, it's got more of a delicate decay to each note. I'm going to show that for you now. This is the uh, CTSATG. I'm going to play the tenor and baritone back to back.
Last up today we have the jewel in the crown of the Contour series. This is the all solid spruce and Indian rosewood model with the Florentine cutaway. It does however have another very very long name, so long I'm going to read the label. This is the Carla KACT SSRW TG. Rolls off the tongue. Fantastic looking ukulele though with a really sheer cutaway. I love the styling of it. It's a curvier body than a normal Carla. In fact, if I've got a normal Carla shape, this is a normal Carla shape. They've changed the body shape quite significantly on these ukuleles. I don't know if you can tell from there, but this is a curvier instrument with the uh, solid spruce top, the Indian rosewood back and sides. You have that lovely split rosette once again of the two woods. You have, I can't tell if from here if it's purple heart. I think it's purple heart front and back binding. So oh, it shines lovely in this light. So if you see what I mean, you've got this shimmering light purple colored binding that stays subtle from a distance, gorgeous. You once again have the gloss finish for the body, the satin neck with a 38 mm nut with ebony fingerboard and bridge. Slotted headstock with the open gear tuners. They just feel great, they sound even better. You heard the sound samples from, um, from Phil uh, earlier last week on social media. I've added them to this video as well. I'm gonna play this one for you now. I, I just think they're gorgeous. Let's give it a play and see what you think. Whoa, that's loud. <laughs> You probably thought that was the end of the video, but I want to take one more pass at a popular model that has been around before and has come back again, a model really close to my heart. This is the Salt and Pepper Dog Hair series, so the SDH series. Uh, these are based on some uh, USA made, uh, sort of Petaluma, California made ukuleles that Carla did about six, seven years ago. The way this finish is achieved is you take mahogany and then you sand it back, you grain fill it, you sand it back, you grain fill it, you sand it back, you grain fill it, there's staining involved, there's this process going over and over again where you're very, very slowly creating this black finish with the mahogany grain coming out in white. So you're using that grain fill to create an almost kind of gray hair effect. It's that dog hair finish. It's a salt and pepper, black and white finish. It's not 
garish. You know, when you think of colours, it's so hard to get it right. I think M you get it right, Flight get it right. But so often you see brands, brands that we used to do back in the day, I won't mention them by name, but you know, things would come in and they'd just be the most garish colour. And even the black ones would just look, I don't know, they look plasticky. You don't get that with these. This is one of the cleanest looking ukuleles. And um, in fact, um, I had the tenor, concert and baritone versions of these ukuleles that they made in the USA all at some point in the last seven or eight years. Um, they don't make them anymore and they're very, very hard to come by. But the production model, I will say for quite literally one fifth of the price is 90% as good. It takes a lot for me to say that, but if you are after a salt and pepper style ukulele, if you get to try these production ones, these import ones that Carla make right now, I'm telling you, they have so much mojo going for them. I've got a customer who has uh, the collection of the USA salt and pepper models, who has bought one of the salt and pepper dog hair tenors, and I'm sure he loves it. This is the SDHC, this is the concert. There is also the tenor I'm going to play for you now as well. And if you're wondering why they don't make a baritone, rest assured, when I visited Carla um, last month in California, we talked about that. We talked about maybe doing a Sus exclusive baritone version of the salt and pepper model. And they said, there's no need. We are putting this into production. So look out for that towards the tail end of 2024. But for now, we have the SDHC and the SDHT. Let's give them play and see what you think. <laughs> 